Inside the $770 million made of yachts. There are many expensive yachts out there, and we're going to look at the top five, but even as we speak, the ultra-rich are spending more money than ever before on the cons. Mega yachts are luxurious vessels with a professional crew, dimensions ranging from 79 feet to 500 feet in length, and they are one of the biggest signifiers of their status to the rest of the world. When questioned about the mega yacht market in 2020, Sam Tucker, head of super yacht research at Boat Value, a reputable vessel valuation organization, had a few things to say. 2020 was a great year to be wealthy or a mega yacht manufacturer because demand for extravagantly high-end yachts has outstripped supply, and it's impossible to get a slot in a new build yard because they're completely booked. Any wealthy person who owns a yacht would want the ride to be exactly how they pronounce yacht with a silent, so they take matters into their own hands with the exotic features and designs they incorporate. We'll examine the five travelers who spent the most money on their voyage over the seven seas in this video, but first, welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe and click the bell button so you never miss a video from us. Number 5. Dubai Dubai number 5 has a $400 million market cap. $400 million in 1995, Bloemen Voss and Larsen started the project of building the ship for the Balkaya of Brunei Prince Jeffrey, but he couldn't finish it, so by 2001, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of the Emirate of Dubai, would have taken over and completed the project. With a length of 530 feet and a beam of 72 feet, it was the largest yacht from 2006 to 2009. It has 20 water bikes, a nightclub, a lobster tank, and an elegant dining room with seating for up to 90 guests are all available. The Fordham 220 of diesel engines will transport all of this luxury across the wide seas at a speed of 26 knots and a distance of up to 8,500 nautical miles. Number 4. Maya Plus 4 $527 million The ship also features a helipad and two long motorboats. Maya Plus, Maya Plus 4, $527 million, $527 million. The majority of the world's most expensive super yachts are owned by Emiratus, including the A Plus, which cost $527 million, and is owned by the Deputy Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and a member of the royal family of Abu Dhabi. The A Plus is 482 feet long and weighs $527 million. It is owned by Mansur bin Zayed Al Nayyan the owner of the top English soccer team Manchester City, who is worth $22 billion. It includes eight decks with a pool and a swimming platform, a cinema tender garage, two helicopter landing pads, a jacuzzi, a fitness center, a meeting room, and underwater lighting. The crew and personnel take care of Sheikh Menser and any guests with the best gastronomic and hospitality treatments in the spacious, luxuriously decorated suites. Number three, the Azam, worth $605 million. Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan is the owner of this gigantic yacht. If that name seems familiar, it should. Sheikh Khalifa is the half-brother of Sheikh Mansour, and as the head of the ruling family of the Wa Sheikh Khalifa, is also the chairman of the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, which controls assets worth almost $900 billion, the most managed by any ruler anywhere in the world. But I digress, the Al Nahyan is surely an interesting family, and maybe you can let us know in the comments. If you'd like to see a video about them so when you consider all this wealth and status having the largest private super yacht in the world at a price of $605 million at an annual cost of $60 million will not seem like such a big deal anymore. The yacht was built and released by German shipyard Larsen Yachts in 2013, and it has a length of 590 feet of salon at 95 feet and a beam of 59 feet, and yet despite its huge size, the two gas turbines and diesel engines generate up to 47,000 horsepower enough to move the behemoth at a top speed of 32 knots, and while the vessel darts through the open seas at high speed, the yacht's name, Azam, is an Arabic word that means resolute in English. The fire ship is about 50 meters long and has a helipad on it. Inside the multi-decked yacht, there are about 50 guest rooms, a master suite, and several other immaculate amenities. Take it slow and take in the beauty of the earth and the water, which is likely what the fishes call the planet, but unlike our planet. Christophe Leone of Nada Yachts designed the interior. The fact that this boat was built in under three years by Larson and Leone and is nearly 600 feet long, 57 feet longer than the next yacht on our list, may be its most astounding feature. Number 2. Eclipse, $1.5 billion. The second Eclipse cost $1.5 billion. A division of Larson, which was once arguably the world's leading shipbuilding firm, is Bloon and Vaz. The Bismarck vessel, which Blum and Vos specialized in creating, is its most recognizable creation. 
The Eclipse, which was launched in 2010 and stands at 533 feet, was the largest yacht until the Azam arrived on the scene in 2013 and is currently the fourth longest super yacht. The Eclipse is powered by two strong diesel engines that propel the yacht at 22 knots with almost 40000 horsepower in keeping with their military history. Blom and Voss have a missile detection system and a submarine attached that can dive as deep as 50 meters into the water. But protecting against military attacks is not the only purpose of this yacht because what kind of attack is more sneaky than having paparazzi cameras pointed at you? That's right. The ship has an anti-paparazzi technology installed that prevents digital cameras from snapping pictures. The technology employs a laser shield that emits infrared light to detect a digital camera and concentrates strong light on it, rendering any photos taken with it unusable. A high-tech, high-budget version of the cop slapping you in the face after shining a torch in your eyes, Eclipse boasts two helipads, 24 guest cabins, two big pools, and many hot tubs. The ship is owned by Raman Abramovich, a Russian-Israeli rich tycoon. When he and Sheikh Mansour are done competing in the Seven Seas, they face off in the English Premier League and other European competitions. He and Sheikh Mansour spend a lot of money on their clubs, sometimes too much so that the authorities have to slap them with a fine, but there is nothing Mr. Abramovich can't handle as his Eclipse super yacht, which is currently the largest yacht in the world. Number 1. History Supreme, $4.8 billion in wealth, the first place prize. The only ship on our list to be entirely clad with gold, platinum, and other pricey metals is this one, despite being the smallest, slowest, and with the fewest amenities. Stuart Hughes, a premium fashion designer from Liverpool, is credited with creating it in 2011. Since only three Malaysians have a net worth of over $5 billion, the other two have a net worth of $5 billion and Quack has just over $10 billion and the ship costs the same as the combined net worth of the other two billionaires, Robert Quack is the more obvious suspect. When Hughes first announced the project, he didn't specifically identify the owner but provided hints that suggested it was him. The yacht boasts an opulent master suite with a wall made of meteoric stone and a sculpture fashioned from genuine T-Rex dinosaur bones that were retrieved from Arizona and are reportedly worth $89,000. These yachts are all very expensive and you might be wondering what good could come from this level of vanity. Well, listen to Peter Lurson, the CEO of Lurson and sort of the highest authority when it comes to yachts as we've seen in this video. He says that on the building of the Azam, about 6 million hours of manpower were used for translates to employment for over 4 million people. So this is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.